Edna and Mildred's Tinder Adventures. In the quaint town of Meadowview, where the gentle breeze carried whispers of old tales and the laughter of friends echoed through the streets, Edna and Mildred found themselves embarking on a modern-day adventure, exploring the world of online dating through Tinder. With smartphones in hand and a twinkle in their eyes, Edna and Mildred delved into the digital realm of swipes and profiles. Their curiosity peaked, they set out to find companionship in the virtual landscape, eager to see what the world had to offer. Isn't this exciting, Mildred? Edna exclaimed, her fingers dancing across the screen as she scrolled through potential matches. Who knew we could find love at our age with just a few taps on a screen? Mildred chuckled, her own eyes scanning the profiles with interest. Indeed, Edna, it's like being young again except now we have the wisdom to know what we're looking for. Their journey through the virtual world of Tinder led them to discover a myriad of interesting characters, from retired adventurers with tales of far-off lands to artists with a passion for creativity. Yet, amidst the sea of profiles, two gentlemen caught their eye, Roger and Henry. Roger, a retired librarian with a penchant for gardening and classical music, captured Edna's attention with his witty banter and gentle demeanor. Henry, a former carpenter turned amateur painter, intrigued Mildred with his stories of woodworking and his love for nature. With hearts aflutter and anticipation in the air, Edna and Mildred arranged to meet their respective matches for coffee at a quaint cafe in a neighboring town. As they prepared for their dates, Excitement mingled with nervousness, and the prospect of new beginnings filled them with a sense of adventure. Dressed in their Sunday best, Edna and Mildred set out for their rendezvous, their hearts aflutter with anticipation. The cafe buzzed with the chatter of patrons, and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee lingered in the air as they waited nervously for their dates to arrive. As the minutes ticked by, Edna and Mildred exchanged glances their nerves tinged with excitement. Suddenly, a familiar voice broke through the din of the cafe, and Edna's heart skipped a beat as she saw Roger approaching with a warm smile. Edna, my dear, it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Roger said, his eyes twinkling with genuine warmth as he extended his hand. Edna blushed, her cheeks flushed with delight. Likewise, Roger. I must say, you're even more charming in person. Meanwhile, across the cafe, Mildred's heart skipped a beat as she spotted Henry making his way towards her table, a bouquet of wildflowers in hand. Mildred, I hope I'm not too late, Henry said, his voice filled with sincerity as he offered her the flowers. Mildred smiled, her heart melting at the thoughtful gesture. Not at all, Henry. It's lovely to finally meet you. As Edna and Mildred embarked on their respective dates, laughter and conversation flowed effortlessly, filling the cafe with the warmth of newfound connections. Roger and Edna bonded over their shared love of literature and music, while Henry and Mildred discovered a mutual passion for nature and the arts. Yet, amidst the laughter and the shared stories, a realization began to dawn upon Edna and Mildred. Perhaps their search for companionship wasn't about finding a romantic partner but rather about expanding their circle of friendship and companionship. As the afternoon turned to evening and the cafe began to empty out, Edna and Mildred bid farewell to their dates with warm smiles and promises to meet again. As they stepped out into the cool evening air, a sense of contentment washed over them, their hearts lightened by the knowledge that they had found companionship in unexpected places. Making their way back to Meadowview, Edna and Mildred reflected on their day of adventure and newfound connections. They realized that, at their age, they cherished their independence and freedom above all else. And while the prospect of romance was enticing, their bond as friends was irreplaceable. As they settled into Edna's cozy living room, their favorite comedy show playing on the television, Edna and Mildred shared a knowing glance. In that moment, they knew that they didn't need anyone else to complete them. They had each other, and that was enough. And so, as they laughed and reminisced about their day of Tinder adventures, Edna and Mildred embraced the simplicity and joy of their friendship.
knowing that their bond was stronger than any fleeting romance. With hearts full and smiles on their faces, they settled into the warmth of the evening, grateful for the laughter, the love, and the enduring companionship that they shared.